hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 1 to the power of m is equals to 12 and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here we need to find all the roots of this equation uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move toward the solution of this problem and here first uh, we rewrite this equation as this is 1 to the power of m equals to 12 and we write this 12 as 12 times of 1 okay here we write uh, 1 uh, is multiplied by this 12 because 12 times of 1 is equals to 12 and you see here both of the sides uh, involve 1 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we use the nice Euler's identity and you know about that but the Euler's identity stated as e to the power of 2k pi iota is equals to 1 and here our k should must be belongs to a natural number and we have we just write now one condition on k is that our k should must be not equals to 0 okay but if you, you see here in the right hand side we have this is 12 times of 1 and we write this 12 times of 1 uh, is equals to here uh, on this one uh, we can just use again this Euler's identity but here we change uh, uh, the variable here we use the variable k but for this case we just change the variable and we write this 12 as uh, e to the power of 2n pi iota and here again over this n uh, should must be a natural number okay so we need to uh, uh, substitute both of these two values uh, to the above equation then after substituting uh, these values to the above equation uh, so it will be written as in this form uh, so that here we have the left hand side of this equation is 1 to the power of m and in this one we replace this value and it will becomes e to the power of 2k pi iota and its whole power is m is equals to this is 12 times of 1 then we have 12 times of 1 equals to this is 12 times of this value we replace this value by this one and it will becomes 12 times of e to the power of 2n pi iota okay further in the next step we need more simplifications and here you see that uh, these are the exponent to the exponent and here we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule we multiply these two exponents and after multiplication of these two exponents it will be written as in this form we have e to the power of 2k m pi iota and this is equals to uh, here we have 12 times of e to the power of 2 n pi iota so here our target is to find the value of this m uh, so for this uh, we need to uh, take the log on both of the sides because this is exponential equation so we deal with uh, by using the log so that here uh, we uh, apply this log on both of the sides and after using this log it will be written as log of e to the power of uh, uh, 2k m pi iota is equals to log of 12 times of e to the power of 2n pi iota so further in the right hand side we uh, apply the nice property of log uh, and you know about that uh, if inside the log uh, we have two numbers are multiplied by each other and it will be written as uh, log of a plus log of b so according to this property uh, further in the left hand side we have used this property of log if we have log of a to the power of x it is equals to x times of log a here we need uh, these two properties of log we uh, use this property of log in the right hand side and this property of log into the left hand side of the above equation so when we use this property in the left hand side it will be written as here we move this exponent in the front of this log and it will becomes 2k m pi iota 
into log of e is equals to here now we use this property and we just apply log separately on both of these two values and it will becomes log of 12 plus log of e to the power of 2 n pi iota and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 2 k m pi iota and this log e is equals to 1 and this is equals to here we have log of 12 plus here we again apply the second property and according to this we again move this exponent in the front of this log and it will becomes 2 n pi iota into log of e so here we again uh, uh, equate this log of e equals to 1 likewise here because this value of log e is also equals to 1 and here because our target is to find the value of m so that's why we divide 2k pi iota on both of the sides okay here we can write each of these term is divided by 2k pi iota on both of the sides this is also divided by 2k pi iota and this term is also divided by 2k pi iota so here you see that this 2k 2k and pi iota are cancelled out by each other and after cancellation of these terms we get here our m is equals to here we have this is log 12 okay log of 12 divided by 2k pi iota plus here we need more simplification this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and pi iota is cancelled out by this pi iota and log e equals to 1 and here in the right hand side we get n over k okay here we obtain this is n divided by k and uh, we have the one condition on k is that our k should must be not equals to 0. So this is the value of m uh, and here you see that our n and k uh, should must be belongs to a uh, natural numbers. So uh, here uh, you see that um, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.